This is poor man's, I can't use the name. You know what this thing looks like. It is an automatic hook setting device. You can call it what you will. Hello folks, the Wyoming Ice Hole here reviewing the HT Enterprises Striker Pro Auto Hook Setting Machine. So this device costs about 30 bucks. Um, it's, I got it at Sportsman's Warehouse and that's what it cost me. You can get it on Amazon for about the same. As a matter of fact, I have a link in the description below. As an Amazon affiliate, um, I get a small little percentage of um, anything that you buy with one of my links. So if you're so inclined to purchase one of these things, it would be super awesome if uh, you click on the link and buy one there. It's only pennies, but hey, pennies are better than no pennies, right? Anyway. This thing costs about half of the most known product of this type, the Jawjacker. Uh, in this review, I'm going to talk about the good and the not so good for this product as I see it, so you can make some informed purchase decisions. In the background, you will see various videos um, that I've captured, um, kind of recording and showing you how this works. It may or may not go along exactly with the audio. Um, we call this B-roll in the content creator world. Anyway, so without further ado, into the review that was a rhyme first impressions it's a small lightweight um, device it fits in a bucket and it's pretty doggone easy to set up except mine didn't come with the trigger loops to put on the rod so i had to get creative if i wanted to use it my first time out on the ice so i borrowed uh acquired Okay, I stole some hair ties from my sweet wife, and I tied a few knots in it to make it shorter. Boom! Loop triggers. This made me a bit upset that they weren't in there, but I can't hold that against the company who makes this thing. They probably did, in fact, put them in there, and some fool stole them from the package at the store or whatever. Anyway, hair ties work fine, so no worries. I added a bell um, later so that I could hear it outside the tent or when I'm napping or whatever it is I find myself doing when I'm supposed to be fishing, typically changing batteries in a GoPro. Anyway, uh, my first impression score is a 7 out of 10, but that is only because it didn't have everything that it was supposed to have um, in the package. Again, I do not fault the company for this. I'm sure they put them in there. So on to part two. Part two of my review is the setup. Um, I've never used a jaw jacker, so I can't really compare this device um, and how it's set up to anything else. I will say it was super simple, so much so that even my dumb was able to figure it out on the first go. I will say the trigger is a bit tricky, which I'll go into more detail about here in just a minute, but that may be my um, ineptitude and no fault of the tool itself. Setup score, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Part three, quality and workmanship. So here's gonna be my first real negative mark that I can give. The trigger on this thing will make you madder than a mosquito at a mannequin factory. Uh, there's a magical little sweet spot between being too loose where you, uh, you let go of the tip of the rod and it smacks you in the face, or worse yet, the hook rips the hat off of your head, which unfortunately I did not uh, catch on video, but I can assure you sometimes it will take a little bit of scalp with it when it goes. Um, it ranges between that and being so tight that it would take hooking onto a torpedo flowing under the ice uh, to set the thing off. So maybe my trigger has a burr on it or something, but it is tricky. Wear safety glasses or keep your head out of the way is all I'm saying. Everything else though, easy, simple, and dummy proof. Uh, quality and workmanship score, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And again, that is solely because of the trigger. Part 4. Catching and functionality. This thing definitely catches fish. Uh, it works great, and I've used it on the ice for about five, maybe six hours total, and I've caught five fish. All of them are trout, uh, but I fish in trout heavy waters, so I'm sure this thing will catch whatever you're targeting. Again, just pay attention to that trigger. I had a fish just hanging on to it for about an hour because the trigger was too tight for the 15 inch trout that was on there to set it off. It was pulling, um, and because I went outside and it was moving the rod enough to make the bell jingle, that's the only way I knew that it was there, but it wasn't tripping the trigger release. 
So for catching and functionality score, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The two-point deduction here is just because of the sticky trigger, which may be an issue on my unit and have nothing to do with the way these things are normally done. Uh, again, I also could be an idiot. Um, number five, overall. This thing is 30 bucks. Uh, Jawjacker, like it, um, sells for 60 or $70. For all I know, the triggers on the Jawjacker are tricky too. Uh, for somebody who wants a dead stick to stick itself and doesn't want to drop the Jawjacker dollars like me, I can say I do not regret this purchase. I wish it had the loops with it. I wish the trigger was more adjustable, but this thing catches fish and it has continued to uh, contribute to my landing success substantially. Uh, I give it two thumbs up. Overall score is an 8 out of 10. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, make sure you check out all my other videos on my channel. Uh, like, subscribe, do interpretive dance, you know, all that stuff. Be safe out there. Get out there. Teach somebody something you know along the way. Fishing is fun. Pass it on.